Now, live from the news station where the local news matters, this is WHUC News 7 at 6. Good evening, and you're watching another WHUC News 7 Digest at 6 p.m. I am Makala Brown. Top of the news at this hour, COVID-19 vaccines. As COVID-19 vaccines are authorized and then recommended for use in the United States, it will be important to understand what is known about each vaccine. CDC will provide information on who is and who is not recommended to receive each vaccine and what to expect at the vaccination, as well as ingredients, safety, and effectiveness. Currently, three vaccines are authorized and recommended to prevent COVID-19. Pleasant Biotech, Moderma, and Johnson & Johnson. Time is really flying by. It is 48 days until graduation. In light of COVID-19 protocols, high commencement, Exercise will be graduates only. Family and friends will be able to view the ceremony via live stream. Today is Epilepsy Awareness Day. Epilepsy Awareness Day on March 26 aims to increase public knowledge of a neurological condition affecting nearly 50 million people worldwide. Also known as Purple Day, people are encouraged to wear purple in support of epilepsy awareness. Moving on into the weather, what a pretty day outside, or at least for the moment. Today's weather will be 81 degrees with a low of 67 degrees with a 30% chance of rain later on in the day. But while it's out, just step outside and bask in the sun. For the weekend, skies will be partly cloudy with a potential of heavy rainfall. So if you have any events planned outdoors this weekend, you may possibly want to bring them indoors. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll bring you news closer to home. The radio and television production and broadcast technology department is an intensive, hands-on training program designed to familiarize students with multimedia reporting. We welcome the best and the brightest students to come join the community at Heinz Community College, Utica Campus. Students receive up-to-date and dynamic instruction from faculty members who are dedicated to fulfilling hands-on training using state-of-the-art equipment and facilities. I invite you to learn more about Heinz Community College radio and television program and join us on our great journey that focuses on student success. Welcome back. It's time to bring you news closer to home. In Heinz News on the Utica campus, the 118th Founders Week is here. Throughout the week, there has and will be activities planned each day of the week. Monday, we went back to our roots by planting two pecan trees on campus. Tuesday, there was a sneak peek at the Utica Institute Museum located in the old Vice President's home. Wednesday, there was a visit by Mississippi Legislators Black Caucus to tour the campus and see what it is like to be on one of the two only HBCU's community college campuses. Yesterday, there was a Founders Day program which showcased the school from 1903 to present day time. On today, there will be a Utica Campus Roadshow where you are encouraged to show off the Utica campus via social media. Also, the city of Utica unveils a new sound sign devoted to the founder of the campus, William Henry Hosclaw. The Utica Institute Museum is open for a private visit. The Hosclaw family visited on yesterday to see what this gym had to offer. Former Jubilee singers also stopped by to grace visitors with their voice. The Utica Robotics team traveled to Kentucky over spring break to compete in VEX Robotics Tournament. They placed third overall. On the Raymond campus, high stepper auditions will be held at B Hall for the 21-22 High Steppers Precision Dance Line. Audition dates can be found if you visit the High Steppers page or contact Angela Hart, the High Steppers Director. Come out to Ken Cochran Hall on today, March 26, as our very own Montage Theater performs Genesis to Revelation. Advanced tickets are sold as well as tickets will be sold at the door. The partnership between Heinz Diesel Equipment Technology Program and Empire Truck Sales has turned into potential high learning careers for 11 newly registered diesel mechanic apprentices at the company's original location. One of those selected, selected Dustin too, had this to say. Around a farm, lots of equipment and stuff I worked on with my family members. Um, I've always been hands on. I've always liked tearing down things, rebuilding, learning the basics, and actually, you know, seeing the outcome is if I can actually fix it or not. Well, we'll see you back here on another WHEC News 7 Digest at 6 p.m. I am Makala Brown. Remember to stay masked up and COVID-19 free.